Alright everyone, as you can see, I was not prepared to film today. My camera my camera's not prepared either. There we go. But I did get the first shipment of what I ordered on Black Friday. Everything in this video is from BH Cosmetics. They had a pretty good sale going on and I couldn't pass it up. I didn't want to spend a whole lot uh, because I just bought two mystery boxes from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Still have yet to get the shipping notification on that. Should be before the 7th. Today's the 4th. Let's hope, oh, that's not. Let's hope and pray because I'm getting a little antsy. I put down some money on those. I've been hearing that they're all the same and nobody get nothing different and they're all highlighters and lips and sure, yeah, I love highlighters and lips. I was hoping for some some variety, like, oops, you know, like throw in a mirror, throw in a little makeup bag, throw in a t-shirt, something. All right, I just gotta get these phones out of my pocket because they're hindering. Oh, that's in the phone. Okay, so first thing I went on uh, BH Cosmetics to order was a new brush set. Now this was a 15 piece brush set. And, a bag. and if you bought a brush set that day, you also got a free eyeshadow palette that I am going to just throw across the room apparently. Free eyeshadow palette. 16 shades. They're, the pans aren't that big, but honestly for a free eyeshadow palette, I'm not mad. Um, it did say that it, was, that it was originally $12, which I would have been mad if I paid $12 for this. But... It's still less than a dollar a shade, so I guess you can't be too mad about it. Now, I myself have to get some accessories when I get brushes, so I got a nice little brush holder. Oh, oh is there plastic on that? I got the marbled one. I was gonna get the all white because I thought the brushes were all this gray silvery color because online they looked silver but they're a like a lavender which I don't mind I was just hoping and as you can see I have used one already. I tried to film this video like seven times. It was supposed to be an unboxing. Everything's already unboxed. All the boxes are recycled. It's just, ugh, nothing has been going my way as far as lighting and angles today, so probably because my face is naked and needs a real good uh, scrub. I need some exfoliation in my life. I'm just gonna set this on my ladder. The next thing I was super excited about was this brush cleaner. It's those. They're really hard to open for some reason. I had, literally had to take a knife to this a while ago. There we go. You have to like twist a little bit too. Those sponges that you wipe the brush on to get excess product off, like to clean the product off so you can use it again. I used it on that brush. I think the bristles are just a bit stained now. But this thing worked. I swatched every color in that eyeshadow palette trying to get it on video. It didn't work. So I'm gonna do it again. But this, I used this in between everyone and it was great. This is probably my favorite thing so far because I haven't gotten to use the brushes on my face yet. And it comes in a cool little metal canister so you can like reuse that put the put the sponge in something else if you want next thing i got was a beauty sponge of course it's not wet this is a dry sponge it's actually very soft all the products i got are cruelty free not sure if they're vegan i imagine the brushes would be since they're synthetic but this cute little beauty sponge it looks like a beauty blender one just a little different it has a finer tip on it than what my one now does. My one now does not clean right. It was cheap though, so. But that was on sale, so I'm not mad. And I also got the uh, Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer in pink. I'm trying to use it as a color corrector for my under eyes and the veins that you can see around my eyes because I'm just so pale. So fair that everything shows through my skin. I'm either red or blue. I can't be, I can't be one of those. One thing I did not expect to get was a sample for foundation and which, I mean, I would love this. Uh, I bet the probably most bought color 
is probably somewhere around this light olive color that they sent me, but it's definitely not my shade. I'm usually, they give you this shade range on the back here, which is pretty impressive. I am pretty impressed with that. I mean, 24, sure, there could be more, but there's still, you know, you've got some deep shades and some very light shades and everything in the middle. And this one that's a little more of a yellow undertone, which I kind of like. Like, that's a, a good shade. Someone's gonna need that, not me. I wanna need probably this very top one in ivory or, or fair beige. I'm not really sure if I'm fair beige. Oh, ghost. But I definitely can't use light olive. I might see if my sister can. She's tanner than me. But I can always get a feel for how I like the formula. And then maybe order next time, which I think is kind of what they're getting at. So I got all that. I will put the prices, hopefully, once I've uploaded this, I'll have the prices in the corner, like here, or here, to tell you how much each thing was on sale, because I did get it on sale. Did I show you the bag that the brushes came in? Yeah, 16 in a brush, in a brush bag. I have too many makeup bags, but one of them's getting thrown out because I like this one better. I have one. It doesn't have a ton of room. It mostly just fits the brushes on like maybe a few key things, and that's about it. So. If you guys are ready, we shall swatch this little tiny baby palette. Now what I do like, I do like this sleeve. You know, this is cute, shows you the colors, but this is really pretty. Like, look at that. It's got the little chrome kind of moment here. It's very rose gold. It's, you know, the Moroccan sunset palette. So I think it's, the colors I think are true to name. And then as you can see, I've already touched all of these pants. But I like the little detail they put around them. Just shine, shine, shine. Ignore my mirror. <laughs> shine. <laughs> it does have a mirror. Hi, self. <laughs> I do like those mirror. It's and for the size of palette, it's a pretty decent sized mirror. <gasps> Let's open up the brush cleaner again. Nah, I'll just do finger swatches. I did the brush a while ago. It does okay not my favorite thing so I'm just gonna set this palette up here and we're gonna go in with this first color and I'm going to put a little boop up of me pointing to the colors here in a second or just a little icon of it so I'm gonna start in on these swatches I tried doing a second ago and got interrupted so what are you gonna do but we're gonna start in on these bad boys I still love that you know around the pan metallic -y goodness chrome rose gold moment of glory all right so i'm just gonna sit here in front so if you see me like reaching towards the screen that's what i'm doing so this first one is a nice matte shade it would be almost like a nude on me just a touch peachy and light it's here and we're gonna just see if we can get it's right here like I said, it's going to be hard to see on me because it's like virtually the same color as me. Let's see if I can get it just a deeper. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's good for like, for me, it'd be a base shadow or a blending shadow or something like that. But, you know, the colors like that are just hard to see on the little me. This next one is a kind of peachy gold. I wouldn't call it necessarily a rose gold, but it's close. Sorry, I'm getting like way up here. I'll stand there. So it's getting, it's close to a rose gold. I would call it more of a peach though. So put that right next to it. And it's very metallic. Like the finger swatches are great. I really like it. It's very soft. It's got a bit of fallout, but not a whole lot. I've tried it with the brush a while ago. As you can see, I've already stained the nice gray bristles. I'm gonna wash that later. But <coughs> they're not, Putting, picking up on the brush easy. So these might be more of a you know, use your finger on or more of a pat it on and not a blend it on. You know, brush it on kind of eyeshadow. This next one is also a metallic. It's almost like a fiery coral. It literally looks like I'm starting to like set a fire to my hand here. See so next to it, now you can kind of see that now with other colors next to it. It's picking up those. And we've got yet another metallic um, that's a little redder than the last one, but still, I would say, in the same kind of, definitely the same color story, because it's the same palette, but definitely a 
just basically almost like a deeper version of that, which I really like. I've been kind of living for these like reds lately. Reds and oranges, which I never thought I would because I'm a very cool toned, even though I got a lot of red here, I'm a very cool toned person. This next one is, again, not quite a rose gold, but it's more of like a champagne -y gold. I want to put it, I want to fit as many on this part of my palm as I can. See that? It's just like, it's super metallic, honestly. <laughs> I might use that as a highlight. <laughs> so pretty. I love it because my face is so naked. I'm not gonna do it today. I'd look crazy with, you know, concealer, way too dark foundation, and just a little bit of highlight and no mascara because I didn't buy any. The next shade is, the next two shades actually are both mattes. This one is almost like a uh, milk chocolate brown. I'll put it right here. Kind of warm tones, looks delicious. Definitely could be used as a crease color or to blend, oh, to smoke out that lower lash line, give it some drama. Definitely look pretty. I'm kind of excited for it. I use a lot of colors like that in to deepen the creases, no matter what color I'm using, just to give it a little more depth. So this next one is basically a darker version of that first one, but with more, it's more of a camel brown and not a peachy nude brown. Does that make any sense? Do I sound like I do I sound like I know what I'm doing? Because I don't. Any. So we're just gonna we're just put it right here. Yeah, there you go. It's not too bad. And of course, my lighting right now is very yellowy. Um, I will try to get a good picture of this for you guys in a cooler light or even a natural light, so you can see them in all their glory. And this next shade is another metallic, of course, because there's nine of them. Um, there's seven uh, mattes. This metallic one is a very cool brown, like almost like a silvery reflect and like a, it's just, it, I don't know how to describe it. Just look. So I mean, it's very metallic though, like, <laughs> dang. I like that. It just makes it, like, all these browns are, like, just look like chocolate. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. I don't know. Alright, this next one's a matte, and it's basically just a cool toned version of that first one, in my opinion. Uh, it's a very, just cool toned tan, kind of blue undertone, and you can't even see it. I put it right here, and on me, it's hard to see. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. I'm so pale. I'm so fair that it's hard to see stuff like that on me. And this next one looks so good. It looks like some sort of like 99, 95% cacao business. It has just a touch of a purple undertone to it, I think. It does. Oh my goodness, it does. It does. It's a brown that has just a hint of a purple undertone, and I'm digging it, to be honest. Like, it literally looks like dark chocolate, and I want to eat it. Maybe I should have put some concealer on my hand. It would have been pink, though. That eh, probably wouldn't match me close enough. This next matte is more of a terracotta color. The only one that's a matte that's not, like, a brown. So I'm going to put it... Actually, I'm going to put it on my thumb here. It's very orangey. has just maybe just a, a pink to it but definitely more of a terracotta color. It's really pretty. It's very warm, very inviting. Like, you could use this on, like, in a look and it'd be great. Just, I love it. I might use this next time I do makeup. Oh, I should use this in my next video. <sighs> Depending on what I get from my JSC mystery boxes. This next one is more of a, like, true gold. Here. It's more of a true metallic gold instead of the peachy and rose goldy kind of moments we've had. There's just so many metallics. I like that there's just, there's like three versions of gold. Four. There's like four golds, two oranges, two browns, and then a wild card that I will show you in a second. 
Oh my goodness, girl. I didn't know what to think of it when I first watched it. It did not look like it did in the pan and it threw me for a loop. So the next one is another like brown one, but it's more of a warm tone really. Instead of that cool brown, we've got more of a warm, almost pinky undertone to this one. It's more of a bronze. Definitely got some orangey red undertones. It's definitely more of a bronze color as compared to like this one and stuff. Yeah, to this one. Definitely looks good with it though. All right, this next metallic is a gold, but it's. Did you guys ever use those nail polishes that were they called them peacock? They were the first like duochrome, holo, like hologram kind of looking, holographic looking nail polishes. I remember getting one when I was. 13. It was gold when you put it on and looked at the light like this. It looked, you could see blue and green reflex in it, like a peacock feather. It had all the colors of a peacock feather in the reflex. And it was super cool. And this is that shade. This is the exact shade I used to wear on my nails obsessively as a eighth grader and freshman until I lost it. I had two, I had two bottles of this color from two different brands. I was obsessed. I didn't have a lot of nail polish. I couldn't wear nail polish through the summer and fall because I was a marching band. And you can't have nail polish in marching band. But that's this one here. It's just, it so much reminds me of that. It kind of also reminds me of just, it's like a gold for green reflect. If it was greener, I would say, I keep quoting, picking up on JSC merch and products because it just, those are the colors I've seen most recently, and that's what this reminds me of. It's kind of the Money Honey color, just a smidge. It brings memories of it. It doesn't look exactly by any means. Okay, this next one was the one that threw me for a loop. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna do it last. There is one more matte, and it is basically a darker, again, a darker version of that first one. I guess that's all mattes, really. Uh, I'm running out of room. I'll put it over here. Uh, just like a warm toned tan right there, see? Again, with the blending colors, lid colors, it's just a very, these some of these mattes are just so versatile, you can use them for anything, which I really appreciate in a matte eyeshadow. I don't always need all my mattes to like be statements. I keep thinking that someone's walking by my window, it's so weird. Okay, this second to last color in the palette, the last color I'm showing you, is one that threw me for a loop. Okay, in the pan, what does that look like to you? To me, that looks blue, right? Okay. My fingers are dirty. Wipe them off my pants. Good enough. All right, so we're gonna swatch it. Ready? Ready? Put on the pinky here. It looks blue, right? Bitch, it's purple. It's freaking purple, and it surprised me so much because I was expecting like an inky blue. I was like, ah, what's a little indigo? Well, that's where I was getting is it this violet purple. I have the urge to wipe my fingers on my beauty blender or er, beauty sponge, but I'm not going to because I don't want to mess it up yet. But that is all the colors in that palette on one hand. I feel like a, a toddler's finger paint paper. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. Sure, the pans are a bit small, especially if you bought this thing for $12. Like, if you paid $12 for it, I don't know if I would be ecstatic, because the quality is, I would say, similar to a drugstore brand, because um, I haven't gotten to put it on my eyes yet. I've just watched it here. It's you know, it is a bit better quality than drugstore brand, but still, that small of hands, I mean, at least there are 16 colors, that's definitely where they're getting the, the $12 price from. And it's got a decent sized mirror. Like, for a small palette, like, most of that inside is mirror, and I like that. It's definitely a good traveling one, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Throw it in your purse, if you got a big purse, I'll have that in your purse. That's why I carry an extra tote bag with my purse inside, so I can carry all my crap. But throw out your makeup bag, you're ready to go. It's got a lot of versatility in there to get you a lot of looks. Hi, self. Ah. But yeah, you can create a lot of looks with this um, with a lot of variety. 
especially using this one. Oh, this one will get you a lot more of that cool tone. If you're wanting to have a cool toned look, just a little pop. I mean, it's, I'm, it was free. I'm happy about that. But I am kind of excited to try it out and see uh, what it's gonna look like on. I don't have any makeup with me today because I was expecting this to come in tomorrow. So. Alright guys, if you want to see me do a tutorial with this look, with this eye palette here, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you're excited to see from the mystery box unboxing when I finally get them. Hoping before Christmas. Like, let's cross our fingers. Let me know if you want to see anything exciting, if you want to see anything different, if you want me to review something else. Hit me up, let me know, I'll see what I can do. So until next time, deuces. Okay guys, I was totally wrong about how these eyeshadows would blend. They blend beautifully. Sometimes you have to pack a little bit just to get the color, but that's normal for any eyeshadow, unless you've got like some mega pigment. Also, the brushes I got were the lavender ones. I just had them mixed up in my head with the really cool metallic-y silver ones. Okay, now I'll stop running my mouth. Bye.